So yo, 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 what it do is too hard. I'm talking facts with flex and you rocking out with the day brief. Okay, so where are you originally from and what were you like as a kid? Oh, uh, I'm written from Greenville in the city, Green, Mississippi. Uh, as a kid, I was a chill kid, man. Funny, like to crack jokes, you know what I'm saying? I was quiet too, stayed out of the way, you know, but you know, I stand on that bed whenever it came to. But really, I like sports, so I like football too. I played football when I was growing up. So yeah, that's basically what I did. So what was the most trouble you've ever gotten into as a kid? Mm, I ain't really I ain't really getting no trouble. Like I was I was really the I was a small one, even when my partner them was getting in trouble and shit. I know how to maneuver and shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So every time I see it before it happened. So I go on here, get out of the way, you know, shit, I know how to maneuver. So I ain't really getting no trouble, not no major trouble. So you ain't never stole a candy bar, no bike, nothing. I just, I just, I did like candy. <laughs> but I ain't never get caught though, so it wasn't no major trouble, you know what I'm saying? I did yeah. shit like that, so bikes. No shit, we jumping fences, getting four bikes and shit, and on peace. So I didn't, I didn't did shit like that, but no major trouble though. No shit. major trouble, gotcha. So what type of music would you say you grew up listening to, and did it have any influence on you? Uh, I really, I, I grew up listening to Wayne. I was on Wayne heavy. Everybody else, you know, Chief Keef, and I don't know, I like lyricists. So yeah. Wayne really influenced me the most, and I was already writing as a child anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it was like. When I heard Wayne, he make you think for days. You, it'll be a week later, like, damn, that was the fuck that nigga meant. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. basically, yeah, it would be Wayne, really. Yeah, it would be Wayne. Give me your top five lyricists that you fuck with, that you feel like, you know. Like right now, just. It could be past, present, uh, celebrity, no, not no celebrity, whatever you feel. I'm going to go Wayne number one. Okay. I got to go with Pop. Definitely. Give me Biggie. Okay. Let me see. Give me Jay. Okay. Give me one more. But right now, I go Cole. Definitely J. Cole. I go Cole. I go Definitely Cole. J. Cole. You feel Cole. me? J. Cole, boy, he he going crazy right now. He changed the game. He man. changed the game. Yeah, he's doing, he doing it for young generation. You, okay, so with that being said, when was your first experience with recording music? Uh, I like 16. Uh, when I first got in there, actually me and my brother and we had did it together. We had uh we had did that with that Gucci Gang remix. We had did Gucci Gang remix and uh it might have fun, you know what I'm saying? Cause I always been writing as a jit anyway. I always been writing and just writing pure like paragraph right there in five minutes, bro. So it graduated to poems and stuff, I used to write little poems, then I was like, bro, I can put this over beat. Then graduated that and shit. Yeah, we're here now. Okay, we here now. Okay. If anybody, who would you say inspired you to take music seriously? I'd say my brother for sure. I'd say my brother. You know, every day he'll tell me, man, you bullshit, man. You got to drop. You got to drop. You got to drop. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> every day he on my ass. So, shit. And he just motivated. He called me every day. Give me motivation. Keep on going with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, baby, be my brother. Okay. That's, that's love. So, how would you typically describe the music you create? I just, I'm finna get back to the nitty gritty from the hardships. We finna turn up some, and we finna talk about their pain, talk about real life stuff that's going on, you know. But we gonna turn up some too, so, you know. Almost like a, a thug, Wayne, baby, all mixed up in the one. Okay, hey, that's, that's, a, that's a list there. Oh yeah. Oh, that yeah. is a oh, list yeah. there. Oh, yeah. So, what is your creative process like when making a new song or coming up with a dope hook? Oh, uh, it really, it really just be the beat, and I gotta be in the mood. So it's like if I ain't really feeling the mood right now, and I ain't gonna be able to come up with it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be feeling like, oh yeah, this this shit here. You know what I'm saying? So it really depends on the mood and the beat, and then I just. I just come to me and I just get the jotting stuff down on my head. If I'm already in the studio, I just get the, hey, put me in, you know, and I come over here like that. So do you feel like the music industry has moved more to punching in or do you feel like artists still write out their raps? Uh, I think I think it moved more to punch. It really depends on, you know, your, your producer and the time you got in the studio, you know, so... I heard uh, on an interview uh, ESTG, he was like, he write to help the producer out. He write, go ahead and write all his, 
the murders they got. So he going there, he can get the bid, and then he can go ahead and go instead of wasting somebody time and wasting more money. So really, I try to have already have my stuff rolled out. Some stuff I freestyle, like just off, you know, just being in there with the headphones on, I just freestyle. But most stuff I try to go ahead and jot down so I won't waste my time, produce time, and money. You know what I'm saying? So, Respect. You get in and get out. Get in and get out. So do you feel like your environment contributes to how strong your drive is when reaching your goals? Or is that just self-talk? It, you know, sometimes it depends. It's just really all about the mindset, you know, and how you were brought up, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, I, I can tell a lot of people that it, it can be your environment sometimes too, you know what I'm saying? You don't see no inspiration. So how you going to feel inspired to, you know, yeah. do something big, you know, or continue going with your goal or whatnot? So that's how I look at it. Okay. So do you think that it could be a good thing and a bad thing, or do you feel like it just, it just stunts artists from progressing and actually growing as an artist? It can be a good thing and a bad thing. Sometimes you need that to grow as an artist. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You need that hardship. But you got to look within yourself and say, man, I want better. You know what I'm saying? So you got to say, hey, shit, it's time to shake something. I got to move around a little bit. So and basically, it's just all come in your mindset. Okay, I respect it. So being consistent is a common trait mentioned with success. But being persistent is also an important trait to have as an artist. Do you agree? Yeah, 100%. You gotta stay persistent, you know what I'm saying? So I know life having shit, like get the life in this shit, you know. So Thanks. you know, you gotta be persistent. I'm telling y'all, be consistent and persistent, man, whatever you do, you know. Definitely. So with that being said, what's the best advice you've ever been given musically since starting your journey? Uh basically stay consistent. Just like we just got through talking about, stay consistent. And you, every hit, every song that you might think, think a hit or be a hit, you might like, I don't even like, but just keep making music, keep putting it out. If you keep making something, keep producing it, nine times out of ten, something's going to blow up. So that's all you got to do. Just stay consistent. What do you consider to be a hit record? What does a hit record consist of? It's really the hook, how you draw people in. That's really what depends on, depending on the hook. That shit gotta be fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you drop to, to now you in it's the hook and the beat. You don't even need to like a lot of motherfuckers like, damn, like I'm just trying to make a hit. Get you a fire ass beat and just have just make that shit sound good. Wave. People don't people on the vibe now. People ain't really trying to, you know, listen to you do too much talking and shit. So just find your beat and shit, you can make a hit. Okay. So are there any particular messages that you try to explore in your music? Like, is there a point you try to reach so that your fans can take from it? Man, grind. I don't care what nobody say. You're going to have some doubters. You're going to have some haters. Come part of the game. Grind. Get that money. Stay out the way. If you're a nigga, fuck on these hoes. If you're a bitch, get that bread. You feel me? Hey, handle your business. <laughs> so with that being said, what's the meaning behind your latest project, The Way Out? Man, The Way Out, bro, like, I really just sat and thought, I was like, I won't drop a tape. I, man, I got so much music to save up that I ain't put out yet, but I'm just choosing my right times. But I had these eight right here that I think I would like to wear. The wear got to hit it. You feel me? So I named it The Way Out because, bro, where we come from, shit, it's hard, man. hard to make it out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I can be that bridge, and I ain't just talking. I'm going to actually be that bridge. You know, some niggas just be talking. Oh, man, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back, man. Don't never do it. I'm going to actually be that breeze. All you got to do is stay right here with me, rock out with me, support me. Hey, I'm going to be the way out for real, though. And you know, that's really all it takes is one person to bridge the gap. And I've always said it's going to be the person you least expect yeah. to bridge that gap. You feel me? And exactly. a lot of people think it's the hottest or it's the most flashiest. Yeah. That's really never the case. But do you personally feel like, and I know it's biased, but do you feel like you're the way out? Hell yeah, shit. <laughs> I feel like any, bro, anybody should feel like that, bro. And if you don't, you focus as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, if you're an artist, if you play sports, anything you do, you should be trying to be the way out for your people and most importantly, your family, man. You know, you got to break that generation of curse, especially in the black community. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I feel like everybody just feel like, hey, I'm the way out. I'm going to break that curse. Okay. So, Sidebar, which sport did you play and what was your position? 
I played football, shit. Well, middle school, I started off as a receiver. I put, then I moved to defense. I like to hit a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I ended up going to linebacker doing high school. Then we had some cover changes, transferred to DN. I was small, too. I was like 195. But I was getting nigga the blues. I was like, boy, cuz. <laughs> hey, see, I had fun with that shit, man. I ain't okay, I had fun with that shit. How did you come up with the track list for your project? And if you could add one celebrity feature, who would it be? The track list, I, 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 I just went through a couple songs. I went through all my music. I, I found the hardest one, and I feel like the one that everybody got to hear. So I was like, hey, I got to put these out. And then for like my, let me see, uh, right now, Give me, give me bad, give me bad. I do bad, give me bad. Me personally, though, I see Rilo. I, I see do. you, Rilo, or you and No Cap, or maybe both. Hey, though, bro, I've been rocking for with them for a long time, bro. Since since way 15, 14, 16. I've been rocking with them boys a long time, so that'll be definitely on my bucket list to do for sure, though. Hey, you feel me? we, hey, we. Cap, Rilo, hey, shit, we need to work, no. Hey, we need you to hit my book, man. We need to work, for Go real, though. Go ahead, need tap work. in. Need Rilo, no cap, my boy Rick. You need feel me? Need to work, me? man. Need to work. Okay, so for the people who aren't too familiar with you, what are some standout tracks on this latest project that you would recommend? Number one, you're you going to hear Penny everywhere, so you got to, Penny Pride, you got to listen to that. You're going to hear that everywhere. I say remember. Cause I'm talking about my struggle, you know, and where I come from, yes. you know, and just everyday, everyday shit that go on, everyday life. And I say, uh, Katrina, Katrina, that's okay. that one of the main three. Okay. So what's something you hope people take away from your music when listening to those songs? Hey man, get this money, <laughs> fuck these bitches, stay out the way. That's the main thing to do. That's what you want to do. Get this money, fuck these bitches, stay out of the way. These niggas could come later, bro. We ain't worried about you feel me. We gonna stand on business when need be. Man, well, fuck all the ish shit, man. Nigga, nigga, nigga got to talk money for me to even beef with him. I ain't nigga just doing all this. Doing no talk. I ain't doing nothing. Right, right. So, how do you deal with, you know, the the outside people like you just said who don't matter? How do you deal with that challenge? Do you just block it out or do you just show and prove with your music and your accomplishments? Basically, I show and prove with my accomplishments in life, period, though. Anything I do, I just block it out. Because shit, like I say, he ain't making me no money. Bro, if he ain't making you no money, fuck this shit. You feel me? Ain't, that shit ain't making you no money, man. Shit, stay out of the way. Leave <laughs> that shit alone. Leave that shit alone, bro. You're going to be dead or in jail. I done seen it happen too many times. Been down that road, bro. That ain't it. You know, so stay out the way, man. I did you on now, shit. They... Want to have more guns than bread in their pocket? What they What they do that day? Come on, man. How you gonna go to war and you ain't got no money? You gonna go to war and you ain't got no money? I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. So, what do you see your What do you see yourself achieving in the next five to ten years musically? To be honest, like music wise, I really just this really like just a just steps. To get to the other side. So, music wise, I ain't even went that far as the music wise, because I'm just really using this as a bridge to get where I need to be, get my family where they need to be. Like, I can do everything, I can make get all the accomplishment, everything, awards, and all that shit, but that shit ain't gonna matter if my family ain't straight. They really with that. My family, my people that rocked out with me, they really were gonna make me feel complete, though, as an artist, though, for real, though. So, do you feel like growing up you were very family oriented? Or, yeah, or I you? love I love my family growing up, you know, shit. My cousins, my brothers, my sisters. I, man, we had love. We had fun, but back then we had fun, like genuine fun. And we used to see the grown-ups, like, having fun. We were, shit, all the time now, we be like, damn, man, why we weren't grown then, man? Ain't no real fun had no more, man. For real, though. We had fun, dog. Yeah. I, I love yeah. my family, for real, though. Yeah, so... When you're alone, right, let's just say you're in the studio and you don't have your brother with you or you don't have your homies with you. How do you stay motivated within yourself to keep being consistent, to keep making bangers, to keep the overall goal 
at hand? How do you focus your mind and be like, you know what? I ain't doing all that. I'm right where I need to be. Shit, just really just having a voice in the back of my head and just me myself, shit. I'm motivation, shit. I get up every day and I, I get motivated, get the money, and stay out of the way. So when I go in the studio, most of the time I go in the studio by myself anyway. Good. You know, so Good. just just really staying grounded and going to my roots, you know, what I've been taught. You know, just say, hey, staying with it. Hey, if you, you out there, man, stay with it, bro. It's bound to happen, I'm telling you. So would you say that your strong will is your biggest strength, or would you say you have more strengths that people don't know about? If so, explain some of them. Uh, my strong, I, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things people don't know about, though, you know, from, yeah. there's a lot of things I can do, you know, from uh, just being an ear to listen, you know, give a good advice, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people be dealing with shit and they come to me because I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't going to sugarcoat shit. If you don't want to <laughs> listen, don't want to call my motherfucking phone. Don't ask me no question because I'm going to give you the truth. I don't care who you is. You feel me? So don't come to me with the bullshit if you don't want the truth. Yeah. You know, that's one of my strong suits for real, though. Just really just being an ear not being biased, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas be kept. I ain't going to do none of that, you know, so... That's really one of my strong suit, though, for sure. Okay. So who are some of your favorite producers and why? You got to go Zayto, OG. OG. Style. OG or Trap Mirror, you feel yeah. me? We went, when we went have some of the sound we had today without Zayto, though. Right? If anybody say any different, they lying. He Fast. kept all the way out. <laughs> I got to go with him. Say, Tobin, we need a beat. We hey. need some packages. You hey, feel me? Need, hey, man. Send get them at me. work. Get at me. Get at Send me. them at work. You get feel me? me? So, who is currently producing your beats? Uh, I got different one. I got different people who email me. So, you got, I got uh, Zay the producer right now. Okay. And Zay, I, Zay. Yeah. And I got uh, my boy uh, J Rob. J Rob. He producing it too. So them my main two who shoot me some and I rock out with them. So do you feel like you more so gravitate to their beats because the chemistry? Or is it just, hey, they sending me beats, so I'm gonna rock uh, out. Chemistry definitely been created. Like <laughs> they just end up emailing me because you know, my email is on Instagram, you wanna send me some beats and you're a producer, hey, get at me. But uh I I think I went to them one day and I found like two or three I like and they hold a package and I told them just uh, continue sending me beats like that, you know. So, uh, and ever since then, they've been doing it. We've been rocking out. And they know what I like, you know. Before they yeah. even send it, they know what I like. So, <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell them, hey, that shit ain't it. That ain't, that ain't for me, you know, shit. Yeah. But they know what I like. So, it's it definitely the chemistry. I don't be chemistry with them. So, what type of beats do you like? Do you like samples? Do you like up-tempo? Do you like trap? Do you like pain? I, I really like... Samples are my main one. I love samples. You feel me? It's just what you can do on a beat and you know, the way you can create a whole nother sound and be able to it really take you back, you know, when you hop on a sample. And I got to go with trap. You feel me? Like, that's one of the main ones that's hot right now in the hip hop. So I go with samples and trap on my main two. Good choice. I, I mean, I like samples too. You can't go wrong with You can't samples. go wrong. If you. If you don't know how to rap or sing, whatever you do, don't pick no motherfuckers, don't fuck them folks' song up, man. Don't pick no sample, bro. If you don't know how to rap shit, bro, don't do not pick no sample. Leave that shit with it. Is. is there anything you wish people knew about rap music that they probably don't? Man, this shit ain't it, bro. Everybody can't do this shit, bro. That's stop, bro. Stop trying to rap, man, if you know that shit ain't for you. You feel me? And shit, you... And you don't get mad at your partner if he telling you the truth. You think he on some hating ass shit. You don't want your partner. You got to be honest with yourself for anything. You don't want your partner to be honest with you too. Bro, if you can't rap and you know you can't rap, stop that shit, bro. You feel me? That shit ain't for you. That shit ain't it. So how do you deal with features then? If you if you come across a feature and he can't rap, do you still do it? Or are you like, shit? Well, if he, he I mean, if he paying, I'm going to do that motherfucker. I don't care. Money, money. Shit, that shit don't change. That shit still gonna stay green and blue. Yeah. <laughs> that shit yeah. don't change, period. I'm gonna do it. If he paying, hey, I'm gonna do it. So what do you think about the current state of, of the rap industry? Do you feel like Shiggy. it's do you feel like it's it's losing its touch or do you feel like it's better than it's ever been? 
That shit getting watered down. Like a lot of this shit getting watered down. Then all the, the, the big time rapper going to jail now. So shit really ain't got nobody to listen to. So really, that shit really getting watered down. You know, it's new sound coming out of here today, but shit, that shit really getting watered down. The only, the only people that stand around long is like the, the Melatonic and, you know, like Ride Waves. Yeah. And them, all them different artists will be around for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Because the okay. melodies and, you know, they can produce, you know, and make people feel, you know, feel. Yeah. They, they can bring a feeling inside somebody. If you can't do that, you ain't gonna let it, no. Not at all. <laughs> but what would you do differently than most rappers that are getting locked up or are getting targeted and, and staying in areas that they shouldn't be? What would you do differently? Or what would you tell those guys, even though they might be ahead of you or whatever the case might be, what would you tell those guys so they could stop going to jail or stop overdosing or stop dying? Because a lot of the people we listen to, like you just stated, are either in jail, they're no longer with us, or you feel me, they on drugs real bad. What message could you give those guys? Shit, man. I know you got an image to betray Cub, but once you'd have made it, none of that shit matter no more. Like I really admire and I still had little baby move. Even that nigga, like he from the hood, like he he from the he and everybody I done heard a lot of people vouch. I done went to the eight and a lot of people vouch for him. Like he he liked it. But now he understand, bro. I'm making millions of dollars. I mean, I'm the main one, the main incomes for my family I done put them on. Why would I put myself in jeopardy of losing all this? So, bro, just stay out of the way, bro. I ain't, shh, this shit going to be here. You can be dead gone. The same shit going to be going on, bro. <laughs> no cap. Yeah. The game, hey, the game ain't never lost. That motherfucker undefeated. You feel me? So, just stay out of the way, man. So, what would you be doing right now if you if it wasn't for music? I'd probably be, I ain't going to lie. I, I'd be probably be playing, I'd be playing football or hoop. That'd be one of my, that like that hooping was my like one of my first love though. Then to graduate to football, but like hooping me and my brothers and and whatnot, we you know that's what we love to do. You know that was our outlet. So hooping would be or football would be one of the uh, first one or two, first two. I'd okay, so who 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 were you watching then basketball wise? My time, bro. That's my favorite player right now anyway. <laughs> it was Braun, man. Shit, I'm rocking out Braun all the way. I don't care what they say. Yeah, I'm a mellow yeah. fan. I can't, I can't go with Braun. Man, Braun the GOAT, man. He is. Braun he is. I ain't denying it. You can't even, like, you I'm can't den deny it. This shit have been, you done seen it with your own eyes. You got the more point right now. How you going to tell him, man, he ain't the GOAT, man. Come on, man. <laughs> so, okay, so what, do you think it's impressive with him being 38? In his 20th season, still dropping 30. Man, the man been doing the shit since y'all had been a little diaper. <laughs> and he still perform. He still getting your ass 30 or 40 PE air game right now. Come on, man. Who doing that? Who doing that that long? Jordan them when he was doing that. And Jordan, I put Jordan over Braun. But Jordan them when he was going this long. Not consistently. Not, not, he took breaks and shit like that. Braun ain't took no break. He been staying with it. Do you believe in taking breaks with music? Or do you feel like I'm going till I can't go no more? You gotta go till you can't go no more, man. Shit, you can't take no break. You break, you gotta start all the way over again. You gotta be there, your, your fan base back up, your viewers back up. So don't take no break. Whatever you do, don't take no break, man. Stay with that shit. I don't care if you gotta go broke with that shit. You ain't got a dollar in your pocket. I know how it is. Keep going with that shit, man. Real talk. So if you could leave a message to your younger self, what would you tell him? You bad as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> like, just chill, bro. You feel me? Stay out the way and just chill. You know, I done grew a lot. And I done got shit older now. But, man, just stay your bad ass out the way, man. Just chill, bro. I'm trying to focus on getting you some money, even though you're young age. Even you young side out there, man. The only thing you want to do, you can't help your family or help your people out without no bridge. So that's one of the main things you need to do. For sure. So tell the people where they can find your music, how they can tap into you, how they can get up with Too Hard. All right, go to my Instagram at Too Hard underscore at T double O, not two. T double O underscore H A R D Too Hard, man. Shit, man. The way out, 99, nine, nine, man. It's going to be out on all platforms. You're going to see it everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. You're going to hear it on the radio and all that. Be looking out, man. Hey, this your boy Too Hard. I was talking fast with Flat. 
That shit, we out the motherfucker. Let's go.